Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave, and today we're going to be taking a look at who is Eduardo Camavinga and why Manchester United should sign the 18 year old wonder kid. Remember to subscribe if you are new and smash that like button. Of course, check us out on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Friday. But anyway, let's get this party started. Born in Cabinda, Angola on the 10th of November 2002, Eduardo Camavinga is a full French international who plays for Stadren Football Club. Camavinga began his youth career at Drapeau Fougère in 2009 before he moved to Rennes in 2013. By signing his first professional contract at 16 years old and a month, he became the youngest ever professional to sign for Rennes, making his first team debut three months later against Angers. His full debut came against Monaco, with Rennes 2 0 up at the time of his substitution, with Rennes going on to draw the game 2-2. His first goal came almost a year after signing his professional contract, scoring the only goal in the game away at Lyon. This season for Rennes, he's mostly played in a 4-3-3 in the right central midfield position as a deep line playmaker. From this position, he loves to drop deep to get the ball off the centre-backs. Often it involves him dropping behind the defensive midfielder, allowing him to dictate the play. Something unusual to see from an 18-year-old in his second professional season. He's very involved in everything that Rennes do, getting possession off the centre-backs, dictating the play from deep and looking to break the lines of the midfield with progressive passes. He does occasionally look to longer switches out to the left-hand side, usually to left-back, but this area is part of his game that he needs to work on, often he overhits these passes. What makes Camavinga a star in the making is his mobility. He's always on the move as he looks to pick up space to play in. But as Ren transitioned to their attacking 2-3-5, Camavinga looks to play into the feet of the inside forwards or the striker as he gets his side going. What's jarring about the youngster is his style in possession. Because he's always scanning the pitch, he can look uncomfortable or flustered with the ball at his feet. But this is far from true. He's very tidy in possession, was backed up by the stats. His 89% pass accuracy in Liga, which increases to 92% in the Champions League. But he's more than just a passer. Camavinga is a dynamic player that loves a dribble. But interestingly, he tends to do this at the right moments. He only looks to beat a player when there's space to move into either because of the position he's taken up or because the defender's overcommitted and is without support. And if he gets put under pressure, he tends to come inside to evade it onto his stronger left foot. Whilst this appears dangerous, his supreme technical ability and skill allows him to evade multiple challenges as he comes inside before playing to a teammate in space. From this less responsible role in the three-man midfield, and when the situation arises, Camavinga drives directly at the opposition and he looks to force them to make a challenge, at which point he shifts direction and glides past them. In fact, this season in Liga, he's drilled past more players than any other Ren player, and it makes Camavinga a very dynamic midfielder. His goal against Montpellier really highlights the youngster's calmness but talent in possession. Ren in possession with their centre-backs. They go wide to Camavinga, who carries, but with nothing on, he goes back to Bourjon. The play progresses as it comes back to Camavinga, who again carries and gets it back. He gets the return, which attracts pressure. So he plays a 1-2 with the left back and then runs at the Montpellier centre-back unbalancing him with step overs and then firing into the bottom corner. This was a super composed goal from the youngster. Rather than losing possession when nothing's on ahead of him, he keeps the ball for his side, not once but twice. And when the space does open up, he's got the quality to flip the tempo and then finish the move off with a superb finish. Whilst Camavinga is very good in possession, he's just as good, if not better, at winning the ball back. Last season, he was the only player in Liga to win over 100 tackles and is 4.5 tackles per 90 was more than any other player across Europe's top five leagues. As you'd expect, he's a very active defender and is keen to put pressure on the ball. This can see him win a high volume of possession through tackles and not so much through interceptions, but more block passes. Camavinga is a very, very quick player and this helps him regain possession, closing down passing lanes and getting to the ball quicker than the player in possession anticipates. Whilst in a traditional interception over distance, his speed allows him to cover a greater distance and still intercept the pass. However, this speed can see him overcommit and get bypassed although he wins a high number of tackles. What impresses most about Camavinga is how he responds to responsibility. In situations where he's the last midfielder, such as in the negative transition, he generally makes excellently timed tackles and stops counter-attacks, which makes me think in the future, he'll be one of the best single pivots in the world, with his pace allowing him to cover the full width of the pitch, and his ability in possession to both carry from deep and play progressive passes. So what's next for the 18-year-old? In the summer, he was linked with a whole host of 
top European clubs like Barcelona and Real Madrid. But for me, he'd be well suited for a move to the Premier League. Man City would suit him, but after spending big on Rodri, that might be a no-go, especially given his price tag. The most likely candidate is Manchester United. I think this makes a lot of sense. In Solskjaer's current setup, he'd blend well with Scott McTominay in the pivot, whilst as he develops, he could solely anchor Manchester United's midfield, allowing Solskjaer to get both Donny van der Beek and Bruno in the same three-man midfield. But anyway, guys, what do you think? Where will Eduardo Camavinga's next club be? Let me know in the comments below. I've been Sam and Dave. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?